or back the callbacks. Because everybody want to move in until it's time to move in. Yeah. I'm like, how much can you put towards a down payment? And they're like, oh, really not much. I can put a penny or two. Well, you got the wrong number, buddy. We're probably not the people you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to, let's see here, rent to own tenant buyers. Take that off. And then, hey, there's a package. Hey, how are you? Back again. Back again. You know where we're at now. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Last name again? Monroe. M-O-N-R-O-E. Oh, this is that uh, dry erase kit, I think, that I've been waiting on for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it found its way to us magically. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. I wish it was a check in this box. Bring me a package with a check in there, a big old check. Say a million dollars on it. A million what you say. Eh, back in the day, right? That's right, that's right. Have a good day. All right, thank you. What up, what up, what up? JP take off cash to pocket. I see you, I see you, I see you. Cash to pocket. That's exactly where I want cash to go. To my pocket. For those who don't know, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. We're about to get in this real estate talk. I'm going to call some uh, tenant buyers, I guess. You know, these are people who have challenged credit. Got to screen them a little bit to see if they're even, uh, oh, there's another one just came in. I don't know if they have challenged credit. Majority of them have challenged credit is what I should say. I shouldn't say all because I don't know. I need to put the Wi-Fi on this phone. That's what's wrong. I never put the Wi-Fi on this one. I did it on this other phone and all this other stuff, but never did it on here. That's the problem when you got a new office. Oh, look at that. What'd you get? Anything good? For the board. Hey, we're going to fill that board up with those markers right there. Have you dealt with fire damage? Uh, I have dealt with, I had came across one deal that was a fire damage deal once, but the ARV was only like 50 and it needed about 50 in repairs. So the guy kept telling me to make an offer and I was like, man, you might need to pay me to take the house. There wasn't no money in it. So ARV wasn't juicy enough for that for me. So I'm going to see, let me see here. Let me get who I'm going to call here. Um, let's call, what's her name? Sharina, I guess her name. Chris Haskins, what's happening, bro? I see you. And congratulations on bringing that baby to the world in a few months. A little Haskins. He said, you want a boy or a girl, huh? She said, let me see what they say. <laughs> What are they saying in there? It's getting hype. Not really. The man. No, you the man, Chris. You the real Chris. I'm just Chris that's trying to come up in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get on the phone and try to screen a tenant buyer and see if she's uh, qualified and meets our qualifications. Because, you know, it's high-risk tenants. You're dealing with them high-risk people. You got to screen them. Um, how do I get to this? I can't see it. I got a, I just got my second monitor hooked up, so I'm trying to get my computer game up today. I'm trying to step it up. So I'm, I'm, I'm squinting to see it. I got to borrow your glasses. Or maybe I should switch it around. I don't know. Don't, don't do anything. You just want a healthy baby. That's right, Chris. That's what I say, too. Get a healthy baby. Healthy. Help me be healthy. Rent to own tenant buyers. All right. I don't know this lady's name, but we're going to get her on the phone and see what we can do with her. Here goes nothing. Please press one to connect to. Well, hello there. My name's Chris. What's yours? Please leave your message for... Oh, uh, she gonna send me to the voicemail? That's how she think about me? I'll call somebody else. Maybe she don't want this nice three-bedroom, two-bath out in uh, Baldwin, Missouri, or wherever we at. Let me get another one. Uh, let's see here. Jones Tierra. She left two voicemails, so she's serious. Hi, how are you? Oh, man. How do I get to the volume on that thing? I don't even know how to pause, so I guess I got to move this back if I'm going to use this call center. Uh, I messed that up. Myers Monopoly, I see ya. Let me try this again. I don't know if that messed up. Oh, that's because this is plugged in. I was looking like, why is the sound not coming out? I got my headset turned in. My bad. Too much technology. My guy. Let's see what this lady's saying. Hi, how are you? My name is Lily Johnson. I'm going to be 64 So she just wants to know about a house. Again, I'm so sorry. I don't know what the message was. Why is it coming out over there? 
I don't know, so I'm going to leave that one alone because she hasn't even got the link yet. Let's call Liz Graf. Let's see what he said. So let's call him. He just left a voicemail. He, he just said he wanted a house out near that house. So let's see what he's talking about. Hope he got some money. I need about, I want to get 20 grand for this house down. I don't see why we can't get that kind of money, but you know, I, I might be dreaming. You know, I, don't, I might be dreaming. Let's get him on the phone. Moose Graf is his name, I guess. I don't know. That's what the caller ID say. Hi, yes, this is uh, Chris. You had called this morning in regards to one of our rent-to-own homes. Uh, I was just giving you a call back uh, so I can let you know how our program works. Yeah, that's what I, I was just curious about. How does the program work? So, I mean, I kind of have a little bit of idea, but I thought maybe I asked, you know, uh, how does it work? So I'll be renting the property, and how does the, my owning part, how does that work? Great, great. I'm get, glad you asked. So basically, it's, as you know, a rent-to-own program. A down payment is required to move into any of our homes. Now, we have houses all over St. Louis City and County. Um, the down payment you put, 100% of that goes towards the purchase price of the home. Now, you will have a monthly payment after that that you would pay for a period of time, but you would eventually have to either qualify for a loan from the bank or get some type of private financing because what we do is a lease option. You have an option to buy, however, the down payment is required. About how much do you think you can put towards a down payment? I don't know. I'm just kind of getting ideas right now. So, so you're basically saying if so, let's say I put down put this out. Let's say I put down fifty thousand dollars, right? So you'll hold that for as my down payment in the future when I do qualify for uh, to get a loan to put it under my name. But as long the house is under your name, and let's say I'm living in it, and I give you monthly rent or whatever you call it, that money will be strictly yours. Would that benefit me at all? Or? So, yeah, so basically whatever amount you put down, say you put $50,000 down like you say, $50,000 will come off the purchase price. 100% of that goes towards the purchase of the home. And so then you have that, uh, you know, that monthly payment that you would make for a period of time, like I say. And then uh, we try to get you, help you get qualified and uh, get you a real loan that's in your name uh, with, uh, you know, a good low interest rate and all the other good perks of home ownership. So we do everything in our power to try to help you out. Uh, so, so what do you oh, think so, you can put? So, so, let's say, so I'm sorry. So I'm trying to get it again. I understand it again. So let's say so fifty thousand I put down. You keep it every down payment. So how long do I have to live in the house? So the money, how much monthly do I have to give you as to basically, I would, I guess you would call it rent. So that money all be kept by you. So yeah, so, until I qualify for a mortgage. So I'm glad you asked. So basically, yeah, so like I said, 100% of the, the money you put is a down payment towards the house. So we don't have any rental deposits or anything like that. It's just a straight down payment. We close all of our deals through a real estate attorney. So everything's disclosed and in writing so you can understand exactly what's going on. So basically, uh, what do you think you can put towards a down payment? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to look into it, you know, uh, a little more, uh, something reasonable and stuff like that, you know, but the time frame. Uh, but how much, so let's say if I was to put down maybe, let's say, 30000 for this house, and how much is it going to be the monthly that I have to pay you to move in? Right. So like I said, we so basically our programs is set up like this. The more you put down, the lower your monthly payment could possibly be, as well as better terms. So we just ask for something reasonable as far as a down payment. You take a look at the house. If you like it, you go ahead and apply for it. Uh, you go through the approval process, takes a couple of days. We set up an appointment through our real estate attorney and we close out the deals pretty easy. You can be in there by Wednesday if you moved on it quickly. How soon were you looking to move into a place? I don't have a set date yet, uh, but I'm, I'm still uh, thinking about it. So, so, so now I, I guess I'm confused again. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting a clear answer here, uh, to be honest with you. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm I, in the cloud right now. Yeah, let me rephrase it for you. There are no 
There are no deposits. There are no rental deposits whatsoever. Zero deposit. There's a down payment to move into the home. So it has nothing to do, you know, so that's why I say the more you put down, the lower your monthly payment could possibly be, as well as better terms and things like that. So you take a look at the house. You like the house. You apply for the house. We work out all the details and all the numbers. We make sure the numbers work good for you. We make sure the numbers work good for us. We set up a closing time with the attorney, and we close the deal out. Really simple process, real easy. Uh, is, is there any other but questions you, that you have? Oh, what, what, what deal are we closing if I have to qualify for a mortgage later? Are you guys providing the mortgage, or how is that working out? Yeah, so basically we just assist you. We don't provide any mortgages or anything here. Uh, our program, like I said, is a lease option program. What you're buying basically is time to go get qualified for a loan. Now, we will do what we can to help you out in any way we can, but we don't qualify or make sure or we're not going to promise you that you'll get some mortgage at some interest rate at some time in the future. However, you can live in the house, enjoy the house, and uh, in the meantime, get it your credit situation or your debt-to-income rate. Uh, ratio situation or your uh, whatever problem or issue that may be coming up, you have time to fix all of that while you enjoy this beautiful house out in Manchester slash Baldwin, Missouri. Does that make sense to you now? Okay, so I live in the house. I keep paying you basically what you call it a lease. Basically, I'm renting the house from you, but I give you money up front as a down payment. So let's say I live there for a year and I don't qualify for mortgage, or let's say I cannot get a mortgage, then let's say I want to move out of the house, so the monthly mortgage payments that I give you, or lease, or rent, or whatever you want to call it, they will be gone, but would I get my down deposit back? Uh, there is no deposit to get back, so I'm, I'm going to rephrase it again. There is zero dollars for a deposit. We don't do any deposits whatsoever. We do a down payment towards the purchase of the home. So let's say if I don't qualify for purchasing the house, I can't transfer it to my name, what would happen to that down payment then? Uh, so basically we have a couple of options in a scenario like that. Sometimes we extend the deal out a little longer to get you some more time. Say you need another three to six months to get qualified for whatever reason, due to time on a job or whatever the issue is. Uh, we try to work things out with you because we want to help you become the homeowner of the house. We want to do everything within our power for you to actually buy the house. So like I say, every situation is different, and uh, that's just one house, and we have multiple. So that's why I'm talking in general because I don't want to give you any specific on any house because every case is different. Every Everybody's different. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So yeah, it, 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 I mean, I don't know how long you. I mean, how many deals have you guys done it? Because as of right now, I, it, it, I understand. I'm sure it's a business model and it's working, but it just it's kind of throwing me off a little bit that in a given situation. So I'm giving you a down payment. No down payment. Let me stop you there. Zero, zero. Throw the word down. This down payment and no deposit. All you got to do is down payment. That goes towards the purchase price. And then you go on in to buy the house in the future. So if you get qualified, you're good. If you don't get qualified, we try to work something out with you so we can help you get qualified. Does that make sense? Okay. I see. Okay. All right. Let me give it a thought and then I'll give you a call again. Thank you, though. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. I just want to go through that so y'all can see what kind of confusion. He asked a lot of damn questions. Boy, woo. That boy ain't got no money. He ain't got no money. He, he done went from 50000 and dropped down. I got 30000 So what is he going to do? Why doesn't he understand the simple concept? Exactly. He keeps talking about going over and round and round in circles. I already explained all of that in plain English. Oh, yeah, what about the deposit? There is no deposit, buddy. No deposit. None. We don't do deposits. We just want that good down payment. It's really a non-refundable option consideration. That's what it really is on paperwork because you don't want to say uh, non-refundable deposit because you don't want some judge to come back like my boy Chris say and say, oh, yeah, you know, it was a deposit. No, it wasn't. It's an option consideration. Words are everything when you're talking legal. You got to have your wording right. Chris says he wants to be in a live video. Let's bring Virginia coming in the live stream to see what's happening. That's the kind of people we come across every day, seven days a week, even when you sleep. What up, Chris? <laughs> Did I give him way too much of time and too much attention on that one or what? <laughs> he laughing at him. Bro. He's like, 
You know I want to come through the phone and just whack you for not <laughs> whacking him. It was for training purposes, though, Chris. We got to go through the motions. I would have been whacked him, but I want to go through so people can see, you know, how to handle some of that junk. But, bro, anybody tell me they're going to put $50,000 down. <laughs> you knew he was dreaming when he said it. Then he dropped down to 30000 <sighs> Where did this guy come from? Bandit signs. We put out about 20 signs last night, so I got a bunch of calls I'm going to run through real quick and see who really talking that talk or who won't walk that walk. I got to tell you, man, you're a master. I like the way you did not whack it. Okay. I like who the way you didn't. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you didn't whack him when you said, what if you couldn't buy? I don't get it. Why are you going to move in if you can't buy? I don't understand that. Exactly. You know, he tried to ask me all the questions. And you know the rule, he who asks the questions is in control of the conversation. And I wouldn't let him send me down that rabbit hole. Yeah, man. He sounds like he is a renter talking about deposit. I'm like, dude, you got, you got the wrong, you're walking up the wrong tree talking about a deposit, dog. And it's the nicest house I got. Ain't no way in hell he getting this house for cheap. How much does he need, Chris? I would like to get 20000 but, you know, we asked him two nineteen nine for the purchase price, so... You know, ten grand or more, and we got a, you know, they got a decent monthly. We'll put them in there. Yeah. Hey, man, I like what you're doing, Chris. I appreciate that. I, I, I mean, I'm like listening to you. I'm thinking like, you're saying every word that I would say. I mean, you got it down. <laughs> I learned from the master teachers, so you know, I, I only study the greats. <laughs> so when you, when you said a reasonable down payment in your mind is ten grand. What I was hearing was he telling you, when let me ask you, when people get hypothetical, what does that tell you? Hypothetical man, you ain't got no damn money. <laughs> if and I and I put him through the process. See, that's why I stick to the script. I tell him this is the process. If you got a reasonable down payment, we show you the house. We're actually having an open house there this weekend. Try to get it sold. A one hour open house. And uh if it goes, it goes, you know, and we're not playing around. So this is actually a lease option, a sandwich lease option house. Oh, sandwich. Okay, so you got a lease option. Yeah, hypotheticals, man. You are just a soldier for staying on the line with him. I appreciate that. Yep, it's all for the good training. We got to know how to handle those uh, objections so we can make the connection. All right, dog. I talk to you. All right. And, and here's what the house looked like for those who want to know. Beautiful house here. Look at that kitchen. When you want to live in that? When you want to go in there and eat some fried chicken or something? Fry you some chicken? See, we're only asking two nineteen nine, three bedroom, two bath. Beautiful house, big open floor plan, gorgeous house, and they want to play games. Them pictures were taken at night outside. So, But hardwood floors throughout, nice, clean bathroom. I could actually move in this mug myself, even though I don't want to. I prefer not, because I don't want to live with those people, whoever going to live in there, too. And that's our Airbnb aside out or something. Big open basement, beautiful house. All it needs is you. So I'm like, man, everybody want a nice house in a nice area. You better bring some nice money, baby. Give me some shmoney, honey. But, you know, 10000 or more, we probably can work with people. You know, I'm not being greedy. If you give me a good monthly, I'd rather get that good monthly. That's what I'd rather have. The down payment, nice, but I'd rather have that residual income every month over whatever I got to pay out for it. And I think we got some pretty decent numbers on it, close. I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to get three to $500 or more monthly cash flow depending on what somebody does on it so that's that house and i'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff any more questions comments concerns before i go so an option consideration is the same as the first right of refusal i'm in texas so lease options are weird here exactly if you're in texas i'll go ahead and put the disclaimer out contact the texas attorney because yeah y'all got some funky rules there with lease options i think you can only do them for like six months and I got some out for three years, which I shouldn't have did that long. I got some out for 18 months. I got some out for uh, 24 months. And I got some out for three years. The very first one I did was three years, and that was accidental. I didn't know any better. I should have put his bet on a two-year because he already coming up on one year now. He already got one year down. He's been paying $1,000 a month for this house, and I pay out seven seventy eight a month on it. So I make two twenty two a month passive cash flow on that house, and he put $21,419 down on it. I'm my very first one. So I'm trying to get some more like that. Oh, 21, yeah, on a down payment. Non-refundable, 
option consideration. Not a non-refundable deposit or non anything like that. We don't use those words deposit, especially on our paperwork. Even speaking, I try not to even speak it out like that because I don't want anybody to come back and say, oh, you said this. Hey, everything's closed through a real estate attorney. So thanks for those hearts. Thanks for those thumbs up. You can share this video out as well. If you know somebody that likes this wheeling and dealing in real estate, share it out if you care it out. Follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube. Check out that YouTube. They got that real estate playlist with over 100 free training videos talking about subject to wraparound mortgages, lease options, land trust, all that stuff. And don't forget to join the Wolf Real Estate Investors Group. All that stuff's in the description or in, the, uh, in my, uh, my bio here on the IG. So with all that said, do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, family.